Yeah, I think a good majority of us has seen the Rookie Girl Group collab stage from the 2022 MAMA, but I think that there are a few things to sort of unpack from both performances. But right off the bat, I just want to say that the performance was completely underwhelming. I think what makes the stage stand out and what sold the audience was just the mere fact that we'd get to see different girl group members in one stage. I think a lot of people would rather talk about the visuals than the performance itself, and honestly, I couldn't even blame them. And it's not because these girls aren't talented and we're only crediting them for their visuals, but because there's really almost nothing special with the collab performances. For all that's worth, I think Mnet has prepared us to lower our standards for any MAMA collab stages in the future, especially with last year's most non-collaborative collab opening performance. But before anything else, let's sort of like debunk or comment on what a lot of people would like to blame on for the quality of the stages. And that's on the tight schedules or their no time to practice for the idols. If that was really the case, I think it would have been best if they didn't really push through with it if the schedules were extremely tight, but I still blame the MAMA stage management or whoever gets to decide who will perform on the award show. If the tight schedule or practice time was the problem, I think they could have prepared for it a little earlier or informed the girls' management teams that a collab stage was to be done, and it's not like it's the girls themselves that will choreograph or think about their performance concept. They probably have stage directors, choreographers, and many other professionals that are assigned to do that. But as you've seen in both the stages, you could really feel that it was rushed, and they probably had a few days to teach the choreography to the girls and let them rehearse a few times before the actual performance date. Another reason why I think it was a management issue is that typically, idols still give performances even at a limited amount of preparation time. Some will have comeback promotions while also practicing for upcoming concerts or tours, some of individual promotions or guest appearances while also having group promotions as well. Though I do get that the girl group rookie collab stage involved a lot of idols, if you'd given them a good choreographer and a stage director, get them proper practice time even if it's only minimal due to their tight schedules through great management, then we would have had a great performance from these promising rookie girl groups. So let's try to unpack the performances. Before I watched the stage performance, I was a little worried for their song choice. Though it is a great choice for a group that has a lot of members, I don't really think that it's a great song choice to give out a strong impression of the whole group, most especially with how each girl group's staple concept is different than the other group. I think it was really a make it or break it moment. So let's go to the actual performance. I don't know if it's the stage layout, the way the girls are positioned, the background, or it's just the camera work, but the intro seems a little messy. And as I've watched this a few more times, I noticed that from the whole song up until the last chorus, they were trying to highlight each group. However, I do think that they kinda did a bad job about it if you don't know any of these girls firsthand like knowing who's who in what group then you'd probably have a hard time pinpointing the members through their respective groups all throughout the performance and i think it really had to do with the background and their outfits but more explanation for that will be given later but right off the bat i think the whole choreography and formations were a bit of a mess they had a really huge stage that is open to the audience so even if an idol was at the back they can still be seen clearly by the viewers also, given their large number, you'd think that they'd have more creative and dynamic choreography and formations that are not limited to the number of group members in their own group. But sadly, the choreo and formation changes were more bland and messier in comparison to their own group's formation changes, even with least amount of members on their own groups. Also, the way that they were placed in this one straight line, you'd think that the stage they're standing on is really small and they look like they're all cramped up uncomfortably together, all the while still trying to dance some part of the choreography. But I think the biggest crime of this performance was the ending. The first time I saw this, I expected some sort of twist or I was anticipating an impactful moment, but we got this instead. Though the very great thing was they were able to spread out on the whole stage and they were mixed so you'd see another member from another group beside another member from another group, they truly missed the opportunity to really showcase the potential from these girl group members. Most especially considering that they are still rookie groups but have been currently dominating the industry in that year. Also considering that majority of the groups present in the stage were either dance heavy or performance based groups, it felt kinda like we got robbed with a dance break or even some cool formation change for this song. Also didn't kinda help that most of the comments I've seen, or at least from the time that I was scrolling through them, is praising twice more for the mere fact that their song was used other than the occasional bot-like messages that you see in K-pop videos and other real comments that were only just a few. 
In conclusion, I'm very happy and proud that Twice was able to reach this much influence and success and Cheer Up is definitely one of their great songs. But sadly, performance-wise for the Rookie Girl Group collab stage, they weren't able to really give it justice as it was average at best. But hey, that's not so bad. But it's also not so good nor that impactful for an end of the year award show performance other than just the mere fact that they were doing a Twice song or the mere fact that a bunch of girl group rookies will be seen in one frame and in one stage. Okay, I have to be honest with you, the first video that I saw from the collab stage was the cheer up one and I didn't know that they were actually gonna perform another performance stage which is some sort of medley. And even when I just read the title, comprehended the song choice and even way before watching the video, I thought that a more strategic collab performance would have been to use their group songs, most especially since they're not some of the top groups in the year for nothing. And to my actual surprise, after watching the cheer up bit, here came the recommended medley performance. Now, I had really high expectations for this performance. I actually thought that the cheer up one was some sort of warm up or like a group intro. And my initial comment after watching was, what was that? And not in a good way. First, the setup and formation. The most unforgivable aspect of the performance was the rest of the girls were simply just awkwardly on the side, just waiting for their turn. Although they were just vibing around, some just waited for their turn, while some were subtly doing the dance moves, it felt more like a variety show setup than it is an award show performance. Right off the bat, you'd get the impression that this was rushed and felt more like a huge group of friends taking turns doing K-pop dance cover challenges. Which leads me to my second point, which is the recorded tracks. Again, it really felt more like a variety show dance cover show off because they used the exact same studio track for all the songs. I actually expected that they would let the different girls sing the small portion of the choruses, but again, and that number fails to disappoint us yet again and it just adds to the main thought that everything was extremely rushed and was not planned out well. The whole performance was completely wasted. We could have gotten a great dynamic collaboration from these wonderful girls and their powerful and successful tracks in this medley. I don't know what they could have done better to elevate the performance well. I mean, they could have had a coherent concept, styled their groups in a way that they can be distinct as a group from the rest of the other groups, but still coherent to the performance concept, or they could have just agreed on one motive for all of them. They could have done a great big group performance like in those produce groups but probably more creative and not in the please vote for me and my career vibes in those shows. And as the good majority of the fourth generation groups heavily lean on great dancing and choreographies and a lot of the idols on that generation are well praised dancers especially when many of the girls here are also well praised performers as well we could have gotten a great dance break performance that would really showcase the dancing capability of the fourth gen rookie girl groups especially since we know that these girls are more than capable of doing so overall i felt like the saving grace of the performances was probably the mere fact that the girls are together in one stage as i've mentioned but other than that it's more variety show leaning than it is a year end award show performance performance, despite the clear skill and potential that these girls have. It really felt like we were robbed of seeing a much more cohesive and iconic performance had they actually properly planned it out and not rush it just so that they can gain traction or clout from the groups. But then again, Mnet exists to disappoint so can we even be surprised at this point? Anyways, don't forget to stand the girls and their groups as they always serve with great songs and much more better stage performances. Do tell any of your thoughts in the comments and thank you so much for stopping by and listening.